Hey, what's up guys? John here. A war on lending has just been declared. Four blockbuster-like events are going to change everything about getting a credit card, a home loan, a home equity line of credit, an auto loan. Everything is about to change. Four things inside of the last two weeks have unfolded. If one of these things were a standalone issue, I wouldn't connect the dots on it. But when you look at four situations inside of two weeks, you have to connect the dots. Visa and MasterCard, they just lost a $30 billion lawsuit. Visa and MasterCard have reached a $30 billion deal to end a tussle over the fees they charge to retailers. The companies have agreed to lower the rates they charge merchants, that's known as interchange fees, and are agreeing not to raise those rates for at least five years. $30 billion lawsuit for charging excessive fees. It's the first. Interestingly, they also lost another lawsuit with the CFPB and the White House. And this is for charging unfair fees, junk fees, on you know, late payments. So it went from between $35 and $41 on a late payment fee, that was before, now it's $8. So there's a 75% reduction on late fees for these credit card companies. The Biden administration is finalizing a new limit on how much credit card companies can charge in late fees. Late charges would be capped at $8, down from about 32. Pretty interesting, two big lawsuits, two big problems within two weeks. The third is banks with insufficient funds fees. They're now going from $35, if someone would overdraft their account, was the former fee, it's gonna potentially go to $3. What bank is gonna to wanna to lend someone that doesn't have any money, money, and only get $3 in return, if they get paid back at all, right? What's gonna happen? Banks are gonna to continue to pull back on credit, but the final and most vicious blow is the bank term funding program that ended March 11th. This funding program is the lifeblood to small local and regional banks and American small business. So you're seeing across the board major, major problems for Americans. In this video, I'm going to break this down. I'm going to show you exactly what's going on and why I think we're walking into a massive credit crunch in America and why people need to get prepared for it. Because there's going to be a fire sale of assets. Some people are going to make a lot of money. Some people are going to lose a lot of money. I'm going to break it down. I'll give you the facts. Please hit the like button. Hit the like button. People share the content. Educate more people about what's going on in America's economy. And if you'd like to fix your credit, to position yourself for this massive wealth transfer, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item on a credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free strategy session for tomorrow. Take a look at this. So CNN reported that, uh, look at this. Small banks and credit unions are likely to fight the settlement since it could put them at a major disadvantage to larger banks that have an easier time making deals with some of the nation's largest retailers. They said right here, that this is gonna represent a threat to credit card rewards in small banks. Small banks, some would argue we're at a war in small banks right now, where everything, I mean, all the media, all the conversation is against small banks aren't stable. You're gonna have hundreds of small banks fail. You have to trust the big banks. And you saw that with Silicon Valley. When that fell, so much liquidity went to Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Jake Morgan Chase. All this money went there because they were viewed as those that, you know, they were too big to fail. The same exact situation is going to continue to unfold here. The same situation. That's why you had a 60,000 plus banking employees get completely terminated over the last 12 months. Yet JP Morgan Chase is continuing to grow their operations, opening up 1,500 locations. They're remodeling thousands of branches. I mean, they're getting ready for the massive expansion. That's what's happening. Look at this, State of the Union. This came out, you know, March 20. March 7th, 2024, the White House estimates that consumers will save $10 billion a year thanks to a new rule the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau unveiled on Tuesday capping late fees for missed credit card payments to $8, down from the current of about 30, of 41. The CFPB also proposed a rule cracking down on banks' use of overdraft fees to consumer withdrawals. Now, this would save consumers $10 billion if banks continue to lend at the same velocity. They're not going to, without doubt. If you were a bank or a credit card company and you were issuing loans and someone was always late or they have been late in the past, would you want to extend them credit knowing that your upside could only be $8, right? Probably not, right? You wouldn't want to, especially considering that the average credit card balance is over $6,000 right now, over 6,000. So look at this. It's absolutely shocking. This is now law, March 5th. So Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, this is on their website, CFPB, consumerfinance.gov, look at this. So when you see credit card companies, 15% of their profit comes from late fees, 15%.
So they're, they're getting hit with this $30 billion lawsuit, and then they're getting hit on 50% of their margins. Banks are seeing overdraft fees could drop as low as $3. I mean, it's all of these things happening at the same time. March 11th, emergency Fed bank effort ends lending. Eyes turn to discount window. Reuters, a Federal Reserve facility, launched a haste a year ago amid a heavy stress triggered by Silicon Valley bank collapse closes for new business on Monday amid evidence that it helped turn the tide of trouble and risk derailing the economy and appending the central bank's effort to lower inflation. A year after the bank's insurance funding program was unveiled on Sunday afternoon when regulators feared a, a system-wide bank run might unfold the next day. Deposits have stabilized. Bank loan books overall are growing. No bank's meaningful, meaningful size have failed in 10 months. And the Fed was not forced to change its monetary policy, right? Well, when you look at this, this just came out you know, 20 minutes ago, an hour ago, and Jerome Powell's fingerprints are on the next banking crisis. One year after the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, Federal Reserve Jerome Powell is obstructing the finalization of a tougher capital requirements for banks. So you think about this. They're limiting their profit margins, banks. And then on top of that, they're pushing higher and higher requirements for what banks need to have to you know, stay in business. They're forcing these small banks, these small local regional banks, credit unions out of business. They're forcing them. And when many people you know, realize what's unfolding here, they're gonna see a change in credit, a change in lending we've never before seen. Because small local regional banks are those that lend predominantly to small businesses, to small you know, everyday American businesses and small companies. It's not the Jake Morgan Chase's and the Wells Fargo's and the Bank of America's that are out there lending, you know, to uh, ABC's hair salon. It's not that. What's going to happen is we're going to start to see these banks get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then the small local regionals get wiped out entirely. And it's just going to get harder and harder for people to be able to stay alive uh, financially. It's a sad reality considering the fact that right now 37% of Americans are uh, behind on bills. So, and which jumps 53% among parents with young children. Additionally, 61% reported that inflation has impacted their ability to afford the lifestyle. Well, inflation is costing the average American family about $1,000 a month right now. So this situation, just to show you how the speed in which this is growing, this came out January 17th, so about you know three months ago. The average credit card balance back then was $5,875. Now they're saying the average balance is $6,500. So an increase of about $700 in balance for the average American over you know, three months. I mean, this is, this is moving very, very quickly. Banks abruptly closing accounts nationwide. Here's how to protect your funds. Why are they doing this? They're doing this for the obvious reason. They're cutting risk. They're cutting risk. That's what's gonna happen with credit card companies. It's gonna happen with lenders nationwide. They're gonna start to really eliminate risk because it's only gonna be certain borrowers that are, you know, that are viewed as high risk. It's going to be people with really bad credit, people with checkered you know, credit scores. And that's why they said right here, I mean, this is credit scores decreased the first time in a decade. Here's what you're doing wrong. This came out just a couple days ago on AOL. And what they're essentially saying is not making on-time payments, basically paying payments late. That's the other problem. When there's late fees getting reduced, people are less incentivized to pay their bills on time. If it's an $8 fee, people say, okay, it's only an $8 fee, not a big deal. What they don't realize is one late payment on your credit report can drop your credit score upwards of 180 points. So it's substantial. So a lot of people are gonna start seeing their credit scores going down because they're gonna say, you know what, I'd rather pay the $8 fee, maybe I'll deal with it another time. And, uh, and that's why credit scores are starting to fall. You aren't paying the statement balance in full each month, your credit card, your credit utilization is too high, spending way more than uh, the 10%. So when you see this situation, and you see small businesses bankruptcies surging. It's very, very clear what's gonna be unfolding next. More layoffs are gonna to continue to soar. I mean, look at this. 18 hours ago, John Deere announces layoffs at Waterloo, right? 300 plus to be laid off John Deere. You hit news and you're just gonna see Dell, they already fired 13,000 employees in the last year, right? 6,000 jobs, right? New Stellantis layoffs mean over 3,000 jobs going in Italy. I mean, this is happening all across nearly all sectors, tech, you know, I mean, small business, layoffs n nonstop. So at the same time, you have massive layoffs, you have a massive change legally with bank lending, with credit card lending. It's an overhaul of the entire US economy. 
when they say that you know they want to you know, help everybody and they want to combat inequality, just realize what's going to happen is there's going to be two real classes that are going to be built out of the next couple of years. It's going to be the have-nots, which are going to be you know most Americans, unfortunately, and then the have-yachts, those that have you know the the money, the businesses, the cash. There's still time. There's still time to go out there and to really build something, to learn, to grow, to scale, to do something big. But the time's running out because when you see all these lawsuits and all these problems for small local regional banks, do you think that when these banks start to really suffer, they start to go out of business, that the JP Morgan chases and these you know large corporations are gonna be out there issuing lines of credit at favorable rates to small high-risk businesses? I don't think so, I really don't. So the next couple of years, very, very important. If you have high interest rate credit card debt, there's a lot of opportunity right now to do 0% APR balance transfers, transfer those high interest rate balances, do a 0% APR card to get out of that debt quicker. You know, if you are in a good situation financially, keep building on that. If you have any issues at all in your credit report, you know, we'd love to help you. At my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any issue at all in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free strategy session for Monday. Love to hop on a call with you to see how we can help. And I'll catch you next video.